what is going on folks welcome back to another awesome video i am so freaking hyped because today we are talking about the new in creator update uh, it says right up here at the top a big feature update for those of you that are unaware features are like um like geodes they're kind of like smaller structures or structures that have less constraints on them a feature includes things like trees and geodes and um uh, kind of other stuff like that uh, lakes and ponds and ravines those are all features not quite structures uh, so presumably there will be lots of changes to features in this update now i have not read a single thing here so let's start working our way through it number one first and foremost what i see right here is minecraft 1.21.1 which is awesome we now have support for a new version this is not quite the newest version of minecraft i believe but it is essentially the new version actually let's see right here okay yeah yeah okay so i've read it and from from what i can tell this is pretty much the latest version of minecraft which is uh just absolutely amazing so we'll try and get updated to that i don't know if 1.0.6 which is the next release for aces mc overhaul will be in 1.21 or 1.20 but we shall see make sure you stay posted and uh, subscribe to make sure you know as soon as possible wow okay so this next one is also really big we have a big step towards permanent blocks state properties now this is actually a big coincidence because in 1.0.6 i have added a another plugin uh, for m creator which allows me to use block states so a lot of the blocks are now going to be changing to use block states uh, but they've actually looks like taken a, a big step forward to integrating that on their own so i don't know if that will work completely you can see right here that says this is the first step towards full block state support in m creator so i have a feeling it won't work uh, and we'll still need the plugin that I'm using uh, at least for now but what we can do here is define client server synchronized data which is absolutely awesome because right now the only thing we can do is nbt tags now i can't say specifically what this opens the door for because i just can't remember but i have had uh, excuse me i have run into this issue before in the past uh, and now it won't be a problem anymore so i'll probably have to take a look at some of my scrapped ideas and see if we can now do them with this block state property update. Just taking a closer look here at the screenshot, it looks like we can now define custom block properties. So you can see right there, custom block property, add a property, we can give it a name, define its type. So a logic would be a true false, an integer is obviously a number. Uh, enumerating uh, property is something that uh, can change, I believe, or is uh, incredibly dynamic. Yeah, so you can see accepted values, true, false, got you enumerated is like a word right so you accepted values are positive negative resistor which honestly like right here polarity you could do this with a, a logic but anyways that's neither here nor there uh, but it looks like we can now define these values and these values stay permanently linked to the block and are not uh independent which is just like really awesome and gonna open the door for at least a few things i'll try and make sure we get at least one thing that utilizes this uh, if not in 1.0.6 and 1.0.7 Wow, okay, another huge update here. We have entity attributes. So this is a, a completely new element that we can now make called attributes. Uh, attributes already exist in the game. They are things like, as you can see down here, attack speed, explosion knockback resistance. It's just, uh, they're kind of hidden stats, hidden definitions and stuff that exist in the background of the game that are very important. So we can now make our own attributes, it seems. We give them a name. Give them a default value which uh, it doesn't really mean anything until we make it mean something so that can be whatever we want uh attra attribute value range uh att attribute <laughs> attribute uh, value range so that is interesting and oh add to all living entities add to players and then entities that just it seems have the attribute bot to begin with Attributes are numeric parameters that have base value and range, but can be additionally scaled or extended by things like enchantments, potions, and more, which is oh, so cool. So yeah, it looks like we can now change the default attack speed, step height, and just a bunch of other things, as well as create our own attributes, uh, which might allow us to uh, create some more dynamic and custom entities. Okay. Looks like a pretty minor improvement here. Workspace selector has gotten a context menu. 
Uh, we can see the recent workspace list, open the workspace folder in the browser, or even fully delete the workspace folder, uh, which uh, is kind of nice. I, I don't think I'll ever use this uh, not anytime soon, and it won't affect you all, the uh, player, but it's uh, we always love these little improvements. Oh, and this is also great. This is going to allow me to uh, build and test my uh, my things much faster. So uh, if you're unaware, you know, every time I make a change with the mod, I have to then launch the game, test it out, close the game down, make the changes I want to do, launch the game, test it out. So now it looks like, now I don't know how big this uh, mod pack is, but this, it looks like it built in nine seconds. And mine usually takes, uh, if it's the first time I've built for the day, it can can take upwards of a minute minute and a half to two minutes uh, and if it's if I've been modding for a while that day it still usually takes a good 20 to 30 seconds so uh, bringing that down will definitely definitely help oh this is cool we can now specify items that can cure the potion when we make special potions so whenever we add a new effect we can uh, do milk honey totem that's that's very cool honestly wait a minute I didn't even realize that honey could cure could cure thing like <laughs> honey cures potion effects I, I don't even know that it actually looks like it'll work in reverse too so if we don't check any of these we can make potions that just cannot be cured which is uh, very very cool and it looks like there will only be a limited set of cure options at this time but maybe eventually we'll have some other things like a huge list of options that can potentially cure things so big big news here this could be very cool oh, okay cool so it looks like in 1.21 enchantments underwent some changes uh so they went ahead and altered the ui of the enchantment mod editor uh to support that and they've also given us support for tags so we can add tags to our enchantments as well looks like yeah tradable enchantments treasure enchantments and curse enchantments are our defaults there okay this is pretty cool it looks like we now have wing animations by default now we use a plugin uh, gecko lib to manage our animation so we will not be using this but having some more default presets is definitely gonna come in handy for those of us that don't feel like using plugins and just want some simple animations that they can use and here we are world gen feature improvements that's pretty much what it teased right there at the beginning you can see it got many improvements there are many new feature blocks that were added one of them is a random feature selector which is pretty cool although i don't know when i would use that uh, allows obviously to you to select one randomly it can be either an inline specified feature or a feature reference so that's pretty cool feature reference would be you know a feature that i've defined elsewhere uh, and this list can be weighted too, giving a greater chance of specific ones and a lower chance of others, which is pretty cool. So we can see here, we've got that in, uh, as an example. We also now have custom columns. Now the column feature was already a thing, but now we have layered columns, which basically means we can create layers. As you can see here, these have layers of diamond, layers of moss and packed mud. Uh, this is gonna be very useful for cave decorations and complex vegetation. Uh, we've also got a layered disc, so discs were already support supported before, but it looks like we can now define uh, specific block types in various regions, you can see right here. And we've also got a vegetation patch world gen feature, which this is kind of looks awesome, honestly. It's a feature that consists of a patch base block, the vegetation feature to grow, and can optionally also be waterlogged super useful for vegetation oriented mods or even epic landscapes and i will say this does look pr pretty wild uh so this could be a pretty cool way to get like various uh feature uh pool pond features and stuff like that and last but not least we have a root system feature allowing one to custom define tree features that generate root systems similar to the ones azalea trees generate uh you know so the, the azalea tree generate very very small root systems you can see right here it says a root system feature of radius and max height and that seems to be dirt root placement attempts azalea root replaceable tree feature existing fe okay so i personally don't think i will be using this feature right here but it is very cool for anyone who wants to easily add roots to their trees we've also gotten two new global procedure triggers which basically means if you want to make a new procedure and give it a trigger that uh, is triggered globally 
uh, then we can now detect when the player right clicks with an empty hand or left clicks with an empty hand, which is, you know, essentially just left clicking in the air. Uh, we can already see new mechanics being added using these two triggers. Oh, definitely. Absolutely. This is going to be a game changer. So we have gotten slightly improved ranged items. Uh, so they've just recently changed some stuff in a previous update and it made it, uh, made it kind of difficult to have projectiles that uh, didn't require ammo. So there's now an easy checkbox to do it, but there is still a, a procedure check that you can run allowing you to have completely custom ammo requirements and have it be uh, very dynamic. This, I believe from what I'm seeing, doesn't solve the problem of throwing a projectile versus shooting a projectile in procedures. If you're unfamiliar with what I'm talking about, go ahead and check out the video where we try to fix my duck farm, and uh, you'll probably see it there. Now, maybe there is a solution to that already, but as far as I can tell, there isn't one. Okay, they've also now allowed us to change the projectile bounding box which is a uh, pretty interesting so we can make really tiny projectiles that have to have a, a, an insane skill to block or to shoot or just humongous projectiles uh, as it says that eradicate everything oh this is another cool thing not sure why this isn't up here uh, but we can now go search the procedure triggers it seems uh, so right here if i wanted to add a trigger we can now type in yep entity and that searches through them whereas before you had to just scroll through it this is also something pretty cool and it's gonna make uh modifying or making different colors of the same texture super easy it's called global fill so if i take this threshold and turn it way down it will and then press fill on say this color right here before it would convert this and it would convert this because they are literally the same color and it wouldn't do anything else but now i can check this fill globally box and it would not only convert these two but this one and this one and this one and everything on the entire image that is this same color i could also turn this threshold up and it wouldn't work with the uh, it would it would convert almost anything within the threshold not just the specific color but if you do want to target a specific color you can now turn that threshold way down check fill globally and uh spam away the bucket with your heart's content and that is going to be very convenient speed up my editing process quite a bit okay some uh, new procedure blocks it looks like related to the potions this says uh, this is a block to convert the selected potion to either potion bottle or lingering potion bottle which is pretty cool so we can spawn in the dropped item potion of fire resistance as item or you can set an armor slot lingering potion of night vision as item which is pretty cool lingering potions are something that i was uh, struggling with a little bit so my lingering potions i believe they're there but they're a bit derpy or maybe it's i have throwable potions but they're still a bit derpy it is hard to say but this might just make it a little bit easier let's see right here we have a procedure block to get potion as splash or lingering potion projectile was added too. see it in the pictures below so we can see shoot a splash potion of harm yeah so this is also very very cool another quick little addition right here that i probably won't use all too often but that is the ability to detect chunks at a specific block this is really only going to be useful during world generation because uh it's probably going to be pretty much the only time where you're dealing with blocks that might be outside of a chunk uh, so being able to check if a chunk exists could potentially help me troubleshoot future features and uh, structure generation problems and another really cool system right here i can now execute commands via procedure and then immediately store that result and use it again somewhere else which is uh probably going to be very useful especially for some people Personally, I can't think of any specific instance where I would use this right now. And last but not least, it says some new string blo procedure blocks were added. One can now check for the index of a string within a string. Uh, a string check, I see. If the string matches a regular expression and replace all matches of a string or regular expression with another string. So that's going to be kind of complicated, but basically what I'm getting there is if I want to search for uh, the word regular in a, a, a law in you know whatever i'm looking for or even just the phrase reg and i want to replace that with just the letter w or or the word string i can now search for a specific thing 
and then replace it with another specific string. Uh, which is, uh, once again, can't think of many uses that I would use, but I'm sure some people are very much looking forward to this. Okay, and I guess this is actually last but not least. We now have the ability to put blocks in our operator items creative tab, which is actually only visible when the user enables it via options. So once again, not something I will use, but probably something worth having in the creator. So this right here just kind of reiterates the enchantment changes. This talks about the plant type procedure block being removed. I don't think I use that anyways. This right here says that some item stack procedure blocks now have a world dependency, uh, which could mess up some people, but I don't think it will be a problem. And it says right here that API plugins can now reference other sort texture sources, allowing modders to reference textures from other mods. That's probably not something we're going to be use, uh, using, but that is something incredibly useful and incredibly great for M Creator as a whole. Here are some bug fixes right here. I've gone ahead and read through them myself, but none of them seem like they'll fix any of the bugs and problems we're having with Aces MC, so I'm not going to bother reading through them, but you can feel free to pause the video right here and give them a read. And right here, it looks like we have the TLDR version of the full change log, so I'm not going to bother reading that, but if you want to go ahead and give it a read, once again, feel free to pause the video right now and give this a read but without further ado that looks like just about everything uh, so unfortunately I don't think that this update is going to bring anything specific to Aces MC that is new but it will however allow me to develop Aces MC a lot quicker than I had in the past uh, so hopefully uh, you know you'll see that next update sooner rather than later but until next time thank you all for tuning in if you like today's video and you want to see more stuff like this feel free to hit that subscribe button we are actually three subscribers away from 50 subscribers right now and that is a big goal so make sure to leave in the comments what you want to see me do for our 50 subscriber special once we hit it because we'll probably hit it before you know but until next time peace out take care of yourself